Well, the growth of heroin, the opioid crisis, it's a challenge to understand uh, this pervasive problem. It's, it's, it's huge. But there's a new exhibit, and we're going to start there, that's for sure. And it's here to tell us more about the exhibit and the actual reason why this exhibit is happening. James Goodwin from the Drug Enforcement Administration and Hallie Rich from the Cuyahoga County Public Library. It's a great partnership coming together here. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Uh, James, let's start with you. Uh, I didn't know the DEA had a museum, first off. And so tell me about this. This is, this is really intriguing to me because there's a lot of history that goes along with this. There is. Yeah. So the, the DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, and the DEA Educational Foundation are really excited to partner up with the Cuyahoga County Public Library. I mean, you'd ever think that we DEA would be partnering up with a library. <laughs> so it's a wonderful opportunity. And this exhibit is a traveling exhibit. Mm -hmm. And it has four major topics. The overall arch, arch, overarching topic is drug costs and consequences to our, to our local region, our local right. area, and our citizens. Um, it talks about uh, cost of narco-terrorism. It talks about um, the science behind addiction. It talks about uh, local stories. Um, so there's many different exhibits. It, it shows an international side that many of us might not know or understand from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, a, a, for example, a drug lab in, in, in Colombia where they process cocaine. Oh, my. Um, and that's an automobile accident based on an overdose. Overdose oh or use of, of and, and James, drugs. you said it. The consequences are actually focused on here because, you know, if you do this, you're yes. going to get this. And that's just so important to educate. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. Wow, there's a lot to see here. There's a lot to see. It's interactive, and it, it raises uh, questions mm -hmm. in conversation. Right. So that's why we're so excited, and it, it goes right, it follows our DA 360 educational program, our strategy, mm -hmm. education. We'd like to, f we're already doing the law enforcement part. Right. Now we're doing the education and the outreach part of it. And by t joining with the library, it's a wonderful opportunity. Hallie, this is exciting. Now this exhibit's gonna be in place Exactly where and how long? So the exhibit is in place. It's up today at our Parma Snow branch, mm -hmm. and it will be there through June. So plenty of opportunity and time for folks to come out and see it. Yeah. We are really excited about the partnership. When DEA approached the library this past summer, um, you know, we're not the typical place. When we got an email that came in from the DEA, everybody was like, wait, what are, what's what going on? <laughs> well, you're going to read that email no matter what, exactly. yeah, for sure. But yeah, but how but, exciting. Exactly, but we recognize, and, and to your point in the intro, that, that the opioids and heroin and all that is a pervasive problem right. in particular in our community. Right. And this educational um, exhibit that has traveled the country, 22 million visitors have seen wow. this exhibit since it, um, it, since it opened in 2002. Mm -hmm. And we thought it was really important to bring it here locally to Cleveland. And it's so important too to realize that, you know, this is nothing new. I mean, you know, op the op opiate, uh, the, 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 epidemic that's happening here is, 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 is taken over, but it's, it's going way back. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, heroin, the use of heroin has been, has been you know, abused for, for decades upon decades, yes. you know, if not, you know, a long time, even longer than that. It's just so important to realize this is where it's been, this is where it's going if we don't do something about this. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, right. that's called education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. All right, well, I have to say, too, that, uh, you know, this opens... This Friday, this we'll have Friday. the grand opening. Um, this week, we have some limited hours, but once it opens on Friday, it will be open during library hours. So it's free mm -hmm. uh, and open to the public. Uh, we encourage you to visit the website, kygolibrary.org slash DEA. It has all the details about the exhibit. Um, earlier, I, I will say there showed a number of different images. One that is particularly striking, um, it's, it's a piece of the wreckage from the Twin Towers in 9-11 talking about mm. narco-terrorism and how that contributed to the terrorist attacks wow. on our country. So there's so much there to see. Um, we're reaching out to schools. We want schools to come and bring groups of students in. Wow. We've partnered with a number of different organizations in the area that are addressing substance abuse um, so that we can help to facilitate conversations. It's so important and that conversation is the first step into knowing exactly where this is all going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, James, James, how exciting. I mean, was oh. it something that to get this to come to town? Oh, certainly it was. I mean, it was well done. There's a lot of focus on Cleveland. We've yeah. been through a lot here in the city of right. Cleveland, in the region, right? Um, because of the opioid epidemic. Right. Um, but D, our DEA has um, initiated the DA360 program, which is above and beyond the normal law enforcement, which is education, getting out there and trying to educate and, and teach and then bring up awareness. That's why it's really exciting to, to 
team up with the library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love the library, especially that branch. I go way back, Aww, way back great. into grade school. So, <laughs> so awesome. So for more information, we don't want you to miss out on this. And that's going to be here for six months. Mm -hmm. But don't wait. Don't mm -hmm. wait. The Cuyahoga Library .org and, and, of course, DEA slash. You get all the information there. Congratulations, James. Well, thank on, you on very getting much. Getting it here. Mm -hmm. And Hallie, thank what a pleasure. You. Thank you. Appreciate nice all you. that you do. So thanks very much. This segment of It's About You was sponsored by the DEA Museum.